Hello again, Year 6. So today we are going to continue with multiplication sentences using the multiplication sign. But we're going to look at the more challenging questions. So we're going to look at reasoning and problem solving questions today. So remind me, what does lots of mean? Just take a moment just to have a think and remind yourself, what does lots of mean? So lots of is talking about how many groups of a certain number you have. So it's the amount of groups. Well done if you remembered that. Okay, so first of all, just to recap from yesterday, can you complete this? So here is your picture. I would like you to write me the addition and the multiplication. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in a group. And you've got one, two, three, four, five groups. Pause the video and have a go. Let's have a look at the answer, shall we? So the addition would be 10, add 10, add 10, add 10, because you've got four groups and there's 10 in each group. Your multiplication would be 4 multiplied by 10 because you've got four lots of 10 or four groups of 10. Well done if you got that correct. Have a look at this one. So it says find the odd one out. So you've got 5 add 5 add 5 add 5, 10 times 2, 2 add 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 2, 10 twos, 2 tens, 4 add 4 add 4, 2 times 10, 4 fives, 10 add 10, 5 times 4. So how I would complete this one is I would work out the answer to each of these questions. How you do that is up to you. You could draw pictures to help you like we've done before or you could if you know your two times table you could do 10 times 2 or 2 times 10 um, if you can count up in twos you could count on each two the same with the fours put four in your head add four then add another four four fives which is the same as uh, four multiplied by five five multiplied by four which you know your five times tables so you should be able to do those in your head if you wanted to but if you want to draw pictures just to make sure that you are confident with it, feel free. Pause the video and have a go. OK, let's have a look at the answer then. So all the statements have the answer 20 except for 4 add 4 add 4, which means that that is the odd one out because 4 add 4 add 4 equals 12. OK, whereas everything else equals 20. Therefore, this one is the odd one out. Well done if you got that correct. OK, let's have a look at this then. So it says, use your crocodile mouths or the equal sign to make the statements correct. So remember, opening of your crocodile mouth goes to the larger number. OK. And the smaller side goes towards your smaller number. So if the total on this side is larger than the total on this side, then the opening of your crocodile mouth will go to this side. Okay? I'll just do another example for you. So if we had the number 2 and we had the number 6, the crocodile mouth would go this side because 6 is larger than 2, so the opening would go to your larger number. Okay? Equals means the same as. So pause the video and have a go. Remember you can draw pictures to help you if you need to. Let's have a look at the answer then. So the first one, your crocodile mouth would go this way. The second one is equal. 2 times 2 is the same as 2 add 2. And your last one, your crocodile mouth would go that way. Well done if you got all of those correct. Let's have a look at this one. So we've got to find three possible solutions to each of these calculations. So something multiplied by something is 10. So we need to make the answer 10. So how I would do this is I would use pictures to help me. Okay. 
and that is how I would do it. So I might draw two groups first of all and see if I can make 10 by putting one in each group. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so did you see how I moved to each group um, every time I put one in? If I wanted to use three groups, I would then move three ways. So I would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, your groups have to be equal for this to make sense. So you cannot have three multiplied by something because you've not got the same in each group. You've got four in this group and three in both of these. Okay, pause the video, see if you can find one solution to each first of all, and then if you want to challenge yourself, see if you can find an extra solution to each of them. Pause the video and have a go. Okay then, so you could have had for the first one, you could have had five times by two, okay, which is this one. 1 times by 10 or 2 times by 5. So this one's um, 5 times by 2. You could have also had 2 times by 5 or 1 times by 10. For the second one, you could have had 1 times by 30, 3 times 10 or 5 times 6. And for the last one, you could have had 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 2 times 3 or 2 times 1. Because remember this last one here, says that this side is larger than this side. So this side is equal to 8. So anything less than 8 would have been appropriate for this side. Well done if you got that one correct. So that one was very tricky. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. So it says, think of a multiplication to complete this. Okay? So let's have a look first of all at which way our crocodile um, mouth is facing. So the opening is towards this side. This means that this must be the larger side and this must be the smaller side. Okay. So I've got three groups of six. So I've got one, two, three. And I've got six in each. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to add them up first of all. So I want to add up how many are in each group. So all together, 6 add 6 add 6 is 18. Okay, so I know that my multiplication on this side has to add up to less than 18 because remember this is the smaller side. Okay, so what I need you to do is I need you to think of a multiplication that is that multiplies together and is smaller than 18. Use your pictures if you need to, to help you. Pause the video now and have a go. Okay, so any two numbers that multiply together to make less than 18, you could have had. So you can use a calculator to check your answer here because I can't list them all. So, for example, you could have had 3 times 5, which is 15, 4 times 4, which is 16, 2 times 6, which is 12. If your multiplication multiplies together and makes less than 18, you've got that correct. Please use a calculator or check with your grown-up to see if your answers are correct. Okay, this is your last question for today. So, let's have a look at this together. So the total is 12, okay? What could the addition and multiplication be? So I want to make 12. So I know that 12 is an even number. So I know that I can split 12 into two groups, okay? If I split 12 into two groups, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. I can create an addition and a multiplication from this. Okay? 
I can also make three groups with 12. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can also make four groups. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay? So what I would like you to do now is make the addition and multiplication for each of these. Okay? So that's your first one, that's your second one, and that's your third one. Pause the video now and have a go. Okay, so you could have had 6 add 6. You could have had 2 multiplied by 6. Okay, so that's your addition and your multiplication for this one. You could have had three, um, sorry, hang on a second, I'll do the addition first. You could have had four, add four, add four, or three multiplied by four. That's for your second one. Or you could have had three, add three, add three, add three. Or you could have had four multiplied by three. And that's your last one, okay? Well done if you got those correct. That was rather tricky today, Year 6. Well done. I'll speak to you again soon.